Yes. <laughs> Starting off, you want to explain what all this is, Gene? Okay. Um, when the tutor parents sent the turntable back for me to work on, it did not wear. I mean, it was real dirty. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a lot cleaner, mother. And Definitely. one of the things the the needle was broke in the cartridge, so I had to replace the whole cartridge. This one's a new one over here, and that's the old one that came out, which is already the same style new one. I had a couple on hand. Um, I had to replace the belt because the belt was bad. It, it was all gummy, black gooey stuff all over your fingers, and that's so I, I had to almost use gasoline just to get that stuff off my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> then I had to spray these controls here. Because one makes it play faster or slower when it's set on the 33 and the third or 45s. That's all that term. And you can play the 45 7 inch record right now. Cool. <clears throat> Here's a list of what needs to be done for it, and as you just explained. Need to be um, the before stages. Needed to be clean, needed a new belt, needed a new needle or re replacement cartridge needs to be hooked up to a magnetic input amplifier, which that's what this is here going into my boom box. Then I just found out that Moore's Electronics, if you have one that doesn't have the magnetic that already has the ceramic cartridge, here they make another one of these that goes the, the opposite of that. It was really dirty. Dirty like before I started. Yeah. The original box, dust and all. <laughs> and there was the broken needle which I replaced. <clears throat> oh, there's when I'm getting ready to unhook the old to put the new one. Like I have one in there, I should know, a spare one. And that's the number that the AL 3-3600L. Okay, that's when I have it upside down, and that's when I took the back off, because I had to go in the other way in order to spray the controls, so I had to take the controls loose out of it in order to spray all this stuff here, because yeah, I had to use special stuff to clean the controls so it would work again. Um, the way I understand it was in storage for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting under a bed for a really long time. And this is up on the part where the platter here is that the, the LP's laying on. And the belt goes onto this one. Onto the, the motor drive the, the little pulley that's on, on there. So I, I checked the motor and that all over it. It seemed to be fine. Uh -huh. Time for YouTube videos.